Time for Mr. Truck, reviewing the latest innovations for your truck and trailer. Hi there folks, this is Dan with Mr. Truck TV. Today we're going to be talking about everything that we know about the 2021 Ford F-150. And please stay tuned to the end because we got something special that just came out the other day. If you want more information, by all means, hop on over to autoblog.com and motor1.com for more photos and information as it becomes available. So uh, now, back to the show. Well... Now you can finally see her in all her glory. This 21 F-150 appears to be a platinum model by looking at the surround of the grill and everything else like that. Uh, uh, this is one trim level. I'm sure Ford is going to continue the multi-trim levels with various changes in between, but ultimately the styling will be the same. Uh, considering that we're looking at the upper end level, I got a feeling that the lower end levels is going to have a set of halogens in there and not the LED. Then again, it could be wrong. could be LED standard. Would be interesting. Hopefully, if they do the LED standard, they do some sort of a heated lens in there so that, that way there's no issues for uh, winter time driving. Interesting thing to note. The front end looks awfully similar to that of the current generation Ford Expedition. You look at the fog lights or driving lights, because I don't really see them being very effective at fog lights anymore, considering how small they are. Um, it kind of has a, it's like a mixture of the Expedition and the Super Duty uh, driving and slash fog lights there. Uh, it is quite interesting to see. The tail lights is kind of an evolutionary. It's still got that deal, uh, kind of that triangular design on the side wraps around with the radar set up in the backside there. Um, you can definitely tell that the mirrors are drastically different than before. Uh, definitely looked like they got bigger. Definitely a different shape. Almost kind of looks like the new Chevrolets and uh, the GMCs and whatnot. Not it, it's interesting. It's something you get used to. With every design, it's always something to get used to. But, uh, all right. Now, on to the inside. On to the inside. Again, more changes. Who knew? Uh, the, the shape of the dash is about the same. But that's about it. You still get the uh, an actual gear shift in the center, which is nice. Not a fan of the little you know turning the knob i love to be able to just yank down slap it in gear and go or as you know like i'll put it in dummy and go um anywho uh, as you can see if you zoom in you can see that the display is digital and it's almost like an analog gauge with the digital and in the inside there so i got a feeling it's going to be one of those setups where you can actually go ahead and set it up for exactly the way you want it to be kind of like to do in the mustangs and, and all that right there um the center display it is definitely different uh the screen definitely appears to be wider rumors are that it's going to have the sync 4 system and it's going to be able to do over the air updates i'm looking forward to that because as of right now with the sync 3 i believe you have to go and put a usb stick in the computer plug it into your truck and, and that's a whole big thing um, so over the air updates, being able to do it kind of makes it more like Tesla, which is ooh, fancy. So looking at the inside, this one's got the whole console in the center there. I hope that they keep the bench seat with storage underneath and all that. I'm definitely hoping that we see the upper end levels that they're testing out right here. Cause, uh, you see that the, the this being a platinum. There are some spy photos on motor1.com of a potential hybrid. It did not appear to be as higher end as what we're seeing here. So if you want to see that, go ahead and check out motor1.com. They got a whole bunch of stuff there uh, for, for spy shots and whatnot. Pretty interesting stuff. The... Uh, good thing to note is that chassis wise not much is really changing they may you know improve some ride handling characteristics and whatnot but for the moment we are not going independent rear that might be reserved for the all-electric model not necessarily the hybrid so 
not much is changing so if you're in the aftermarket you probably got a while before stuff's really going to start going changing and all sorts of research and development and whatnot so the good thing is the truck is still a truck for now so glad to see that that's there's not a whole lot more that we really know about um uh, the rumor is that the 5.0 is going away and there's going to be a 4.8. Not really looking forward to that. I, I love being able to say, yeah, it's got a 5.0. Um, V8s are kind of going out of style at Ford. And having just bought a creeper van with the good old 302 in there, there's just nothing like getting in a creepy old van with a blown out muffler, dropping it down and drive, not giving a rat's patoot about it, and just going. Well, attempting to go because it sounds fast it's kind of a death trap but <laughs> what do you expect for for an old piece of junk truck so <laughs> well folks this is that's pretty much about all we know at the moment right now anything else is just kind of speculation so y'all have yourselves a, a great day be safe and we'll catch you on flip bye bye